you're probably wondering how I ended up like this. And the answer is more player models. Because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use and install more player models to your Minecraft. This tutorial will cover how to use all of the features of more players models, add HD skins, and most importantly, how to add it to your Minecraft using the Twitch launcher. Let's get started. Before I start, I do want to mention that I've actually already done a tutorial on how to add mods to Minecraft. I'm going to be covering a lot of the same information, but this one is going to be specifically for more player models, and then we will get into how to use the mod after it downloads. There are a couple different ways you can mod Minecraft. For this example, I'm going to be using the Twitch app because it seems to be the easiest to get. It's free, and it's actually very, very easy to use because it already has integration with CurseForge. If you don't know, CurseForge is a really great resource to get mods for Minecraft. It's safe, it's really good to use. I get 90% of my mods from CurseForge, and even like the other 10%, most of them start on CurseForge and go to their own sites after the fact. So once you get onto minecraft.curseforge.com, you can probably search for Twitch here, but if you just scroll down a little bit, there'll probably be something about Twitch on the homepage. In this case, you're going to click the download Twitch button. And when it loads, you're going to download it again from here. I already have it, so I don't need to walk through this whole part, but just install it, log in, and it'll look something like this. I'm logged into my account here. Once you're logged into your Twitch account, you can go to mods at the top right, click Minecraft, and then you'll have your mod page. But let's backtrack for a second. We've got Twitch working, we need to get the mod. Back on CurseForge, you're going to type in the search bar, more player models. You're going to look for the mod by Nopes. Click the title, and you have the mod page. I will also be linking this in the description down below. Under the title, you're going to look for the tab that says file. Click that. All of the different file versions will load up. If you're looking for a specific game version, you can sort it by game version, or you can find the actual version you're looking for in this menu here. We're going to go with the most recent, which is 1.12.2. I'm going to download the most recent one. By the time you guys see this, there may be a even more updated or maybe for a different version. From what I can tell, the GUI stays relatively similar between the versions. I think the biggest difference was between 1.7 and 1.8, but all the functionality is still there. So go ahead and download that. You might get a warning at the bottom of your screen. It's just because it is a .jar file, which can modify files on your computer, but that's exactly what a mod does. It's a modifier. Uh, so it's going to modify your Minecraft, but only when you add it to the folder. And you can find it in your downloads. Now that that's downloaded, you can go ahead back to Twitch. In the second menu from the top, you're going to go all the way to the right and look for Create Custom Profile. It's going to open up a window and you can title your profile anything you want. For this case, I'm just going to call it More Player Models because that's the only thing that's going in my pack. You're going to look for the correct version of the mod that you downloaded. In my case, it's 1.12.2 and it will automatically look for the correct forge loader. Hit OK, and it'll install the version for you here. But the mod's not in there yet. If you have a existing mod pack that you want to add the More Player Models mod to, you can just follow the instructions from this point on. Clicking any of the mod packs that you want to add it to, hit Open Folder, and look for the Mods folder. Let's go into the profile that I want to add it to, which is this More Player Models one. I'm going to right-click it, open the folder. Double-click Mods and open up your download folder in a separate window. You can do this by shift clicking the little file icon. Now that I have my downloads open, I can just take my mod and drag it right into the mod folder. Close both of those, you're all done. If you're adding the mod to a bigger mod pack, there's a couple of extra steps that you have to do. Uh, for instance, you need to make sure that your instance has enough RAM and that your computer has enough RAM as well. Because we're just talking about more player models, I'm not going to get into it here, but I have gotten into it in the past in my other tutorial, so if you guys are interested, make sure to go check that out for a little bit more information. Now that we have our mod in there, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Now that Minecraft is open, you'll notice that at the bottom it says that there are 5 mods loaded and 5 mods active. If you hit the mods button, it'll actually tell you which ones are installed. The five is kind of misleading because one of them is Minecraft, three of them relate to the Forge Loader, and the last one is the mod itself. Create a new single player world and we can test this out. Now that we're in the world, we can access the More Player Models GUI. By default, you're going to press F12 to open up the menu. If you hit F12 and nothing happens, especially if you have another mod enabled, it might be mapped to something else. To check that, you're going to go into your controls. Escape options, controls, and you're going to scroll and look until you see something red. It's a little bit hard to find where it is in the menu. It is under the gameplay tag under character screen. Mine is already set to F12. 
By default, it is set to F12. However, if you have another mod that's conflicting, you'll see that it turns red like that. Uh, then you can easily scroll through to see which one is conflicting with it and just change it. So by default, it's also going to set up two profiles for you. There's a default and a normal. Default is how your skin is without any more player models modifications. You can't delete this one. At least I don't think you can. Never mind. You can. Don't. <laughs> uh, but normal is one of the profiles that it adds. If you hit the plus sign, you can add a bunch of different profiles as you can see fit. And you can also edit them as well. To test this out, you can just kind of scroll through. They have a bunch of different versions, and you can see in the menu on the right uh, how it is changing my skin. Uh, some of them are making me bigger, some of them are giving me little puppy dog snouts. There's a lot of different ones, and you will you can modify these as you see fit. You can rename them up here. There we go, and you can switch through these as you see fit. So say we're going to go off of the normal one and modify from there. To modify the more player models characteristics, you can go into edit and everything is here. Now don't panic, it is a little confusing, but we're going to get through this together. So by default, it's going to open up the parts menu. And these are all of the different parts that you can add or modify to your character. Um, and they have multiple different options. Uh, this is what I would look like with a beard. Uh, with a different beard, you kind of scroll through all of these options. There is a player skin option here where you say no or yes. I believe it pulls the color and the shape from an area of the skin, but obviously I do not have that set up, so it just kind of looks like a banner on my face. <laughs> Instead, we're just going to go with the models that are already in the mod. You can choose what you want, and then you can change the color. Uh, you can change the color as well. I'm a blue beard the pirate. But I don't want a beard. We can change literally anything we'd like. We can add claws. We can add different ears, like bear ears or bunny ears. Uh, say I wanted to add some hair. We're going through this, but I can't really see what's going on. Nothing is really changing on my skin. And that's because it's changing on the back. To rotate your character, you see where this says is 180? This is actually a slider for rotation. So you can rotate it any way that you'd like. 360 degrees. So now we can see what hair options there are. Probably the most requested thing I am asked to show is how to get mermaid tail. Uh, there are actually two different ways to do this. In older versions of the mod in 1.7, for example, when you had the mermaid tail, it wasn't permanent. Uh, you had it as part of the legs menu and you scroll through until you see mermaid. You can change the color here. Uh, but you also notice that the top layer, the hat layer of the skin will show through because that part is not adjusted, it's not changed, it's not deleted um, when you use these models. So to get rid of those, there are two different ways to do it. You can either change your skin on Minecraft or you can add a skin for this instance of the model. This is going to be the same exact way that you add HD skins as well. So for now, let's just take off these legs and go and add an HD skin. To do that, you're going to open up the options menu. And in this skin URL box, you're going to add a URL to an HD skin. This part is really, really particular and sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. I always have issues with it. When my skins don't work, sometimes you can reload them. Uh, and to do that, you just go into the config, you hit reload skins. However, sometimes that doesn't always work. So I will re-upload it and add the link again. There are different image websites you can use to upload your skin to get the URL for it. I use Imager. You don't need an account. I don't have an Imager account. I just upload them all willy-nilly and I just grab the links. So to upload a new post, you're going to go to Imager.com and hit the green new post with the little cloud upload icon. So let's upload my other HD skin. So you're going to do new post and you're going to browse for it on your computer. Okay, select your file, hit open. And you may be really, really tempted to press this link to copy this. This link will not work. In order for this link to work, it's the same one that's up at the top. It needs to have a .png at the end and adding .png will not give the same effect. To do this instead, you're going to right click your skin, hit open image in new tab, and now you will notice that it has a different URL with .png. This is the link that you need. You're going to control copy, or if you're on Mac, you're going to command copy, or you're going to right click and copy open Minecraft back up, paste the skin URL in the box with control V and hit X. And my skin is updated. HDIs, yay! There are 
are a ton of other things that you can also do with more player models. Let's go ahead and edit this one again. We've covered the options menu. I believe you can also change the sounds of like getting injured and stuff like that. We've covered the parts and the different things we can add. For example, let's go add some horns. Let's do some cute little antlers and let's give ourselves a tail. Okay, well, none of these are a deer tail. So we're just gonna be a deer squirrel. Deer squirrel life. So under entity menu, you can kind of pick different um, creatures that you can be. For example, let's let's go ahead and let's be let's be a shulker. This is this is my life as a shulker. I don't have the proper skin for this. We can also adjust the scale of our character. So if you want to be an itty bitty chibi character, you can take your body and just shrink it down, shrink everything down, all the way down. Head's gotta go all the way small. Our arms have to go all the way small. And our legs got to go all the way small. And now we're itty bitty! Look, we're like the size of a block. Are we this? We're the size of a leaf block. Uh, you can also go all sorts of crazy proportions. Uh, you can unshare the legs and do uh, left and right leg. Uh, completely different and, 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 and just, just really, really different than each other. Uh, let's, let's change the arms. Let's make this one really not de deep uh make it super long and super wide uh and our right arm will be not so wide pretty pretty halfway length uh let's change the depth so we look really ridiculous our body will be super tall our head i kind of like how tiny it is but we're gonna make it really tall too uh wow i look like you just took the the stretch tool and just stretched it way off in the wrong direction. All right, let's make it tiny again. <laughs> it still looks bad. I'm sorry, guys. This is hilariously awful. Uh, I think that's everything that we can change. But these are all the things that you can do with more player models, and it's actually pretty fun. It's really cool for role plays because you can be different characters. You can change your skins really easily uh, without having to go to the Minecraft page, and you can have HD skins, which is also really super cool. Well, anyways, guys, that is going to be the basics for more player models. There is a ton you can do with this mod. I hope that I've helped you guys learn how to install it and how to use it a little bit better. I want to add that the mermaid tail, it doesn't actually appear that... Oh, God, what did I do? So, when you have the mermaid tail legs, it looks like you always have them. They don't change when you go into water like they used to do in uh, our Aqua Infinity world. Uh, so I'm not sure if that changed on purpose or if it was a mistake that they were transitional. Uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, you're always a mermaid no matter what you do. So aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if it helped you guys out. Don't forget to check out the other modded tutorial uh, that I've done in the past to help you guys with a little bit more modded expertise. Don't forget to subscribe to see all of my adventures. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.